Ashe, Ashe. And blessings to all of you. And blessings December 13th, 2023. Alafia, aho, I say, namaste. And thank you for watching Shadow of Wolves. And blessings to today, as today belongs to Santa Lucia. We say Saint Lucy, the saint, the patron saint of the eyes. This particular saint also is the patron saint of protection from evil eyes in protection to have mercy for those of you who have undergone slander, lies, hypocrisy, lack of justice, enemies of spiritualism, and so forth. I did change as I uploaded my videos for a longer version of this video right here on YouTube in protection of all of you in understanding who is St. Lucy. Let's start with that before you go into the power of peace and protection. Follow me, hit that like button to support my channel, press the notification bell, comment, share, and so forth. As YouTube is a very, very tough platform for spiritualists to grow on. This is also due with due to a lot of um, injustice and lies towards people who are spiritual and so forth. So we need to, you know, um, sponsor other spiritualists. When you know that this is a channel or the other channels are a channel that you like, make sure to hit that like button. Okay, press the notification bell. Now, there is someone who is copying my videos claiming to be me, Shadow of Wolves, on TikTok and other platforms. It's not true. I don't solicit for readings. Those who know me personally know that I do my readings directly through video call and as face-to-face -face as we are. Let's move on. St. Lucy is the patron saint of eyes. So what do we do in respect to St. Lucy? Santa Lucia was a virgin and she only believed in the light of God. She walked strongly with her prayers and her faith, regardless of the, the injustice of lies and slander, which a lot of very, very good people that walk this earth go through, okay? That's why it's good to make sure and do full research. And when, when someone tells you something, so you know before making judgments, okay? Now, St. Lucy sadly was burned, she was burned and she was put in a fire and she was burned at the stake. She never burned. She actually lived through that. And when they saw that they couldn't burn her, they stabbed her to death in the neck. Now, in order to avoid some of these gruesome details, do know the positives of this, that she is such a blessed saint in helping children. She is the one who also gives gifts to a lot of children, people who are going through cancer of the eyes, people who have different problems with their retina, um, with cataracts and so forth. She blesses children and she humbly rides on a donkey as opposed to any other like, you know, reindeer or, you know, uh, however you want to see it, a lightning bolt. No, she rides on a donkey. And what she does is she blesses others with the power to see. Now, let's understand something about the eyes. I like the way this shirt is. It's pretty cool. Let's talk about the eyes. Spiritually, we have a third eye, right? Again, spiritually, we have our third eye. We have our Audi. We have our third eye chakra, which is very deep. Our eyes are not just for this physical world. It's for our spiritual sight. They say that the eyes are the window to the soul, but that is a physical aspect of what they're trying to teach you when philosophers and different spiritualists teach you this. Eyes are very, very sacred because if we do not have the flesh of our eyes and we cannot see physically, spiritually, Many of us are gifted 
to be able to see on the other side, to be able to spiritually communicate with other energies through the blessing of what? Our eyes. When we see a pendant like this, this belongs to Santa Lucia. Today is her feast day, December 13th, 2023. Today is her feast day. For those of you in the Catholic faith or spiritualists, I'm glad that you know many have spoken of it. Many are aware. Those who are not aware, it's just fine. But in order to use your spiritual eye, your third eye, your physical eyes, you must also work with your entire energy. Now, what does that mean? In working with your entire energy, your eyes lead to your soul. So what you think you are. So, for example, we need to start as we get older and wiser, avoid negative or arrogant thoughts because those thoughts don't belong to us. So how do you change that? There is a method called automatic thought processor. So when you have an automatic thought, you can replace it with something positive and practicing to do so, do know that you still need the protection and understanding where your third eye meets. Your, your crown chakra, your overall, your Audi, where it meets the alignment of your chakras. Now in understanding that, you need to protect yourself. There are many, many, many people out there who are not in your greatest self, who are not in the greatest good for you. Now, I don't mean to be negative, but you could be even going to the store and you could be online and say, for example, you have a new suit or a new dress and, you know, an individual sees that and they may just envy that. That also, that those eyes that lay on top of you and on top of your aura with envy and jealousy, sometimes they may not know it, but you need to clean yourself. Yes, you do. We're going to get into all of that. So when you have a collective amount of people, a certain amount of people, and they are giving you an evil eye, or they may slander you. I also have this picture here, and I also showed this in the previous platforms. Slander is used by what? It's not just the tongue. The eyes come before the tongue. Do know that this is part of a soul energy of, of energies that are are ignorantly low that will lay their eyes on you and say very negative things. So even expectations, if someone is expecting you to be at their command, to be at their beck and call or to follow their lead, or they say things that, that may invoke bad spirits like, um, Oh, well, you know what? You don't sing that well. You sound really horrible. I heard this person, they sound better. Oh, I have such a great voice. Pride. Open your eyes. Wait a minute. Listen. The seven deadly sins that are mentioned to you, pride, envy, jealousy, all of those greed are people that are not satisfied with what they have. So they will brag to you about how great they are doing or how powerful they are, or even how powerful their spiritual core is. Because why? They see something within you. I hope that spiritualists are listening to this video. Whoever needs to get this message, it will come to. They are listening to you. They, they see something intimidating about you. You must hold yourself and hold tight and know that you have to be humble. So when they see that, that is also a form of evil eye. Keep an eye out for these things, guys. It is real. I have seen people that have come here who have been sick, who have called me and have been diagnosed with certain illnesses, that's due to the evil eye. So you can turn the evil eye into something healthy for you once you're aware of it. First of all, make sure you have your protection. You do know if someone's copying your style or they're taking little bits from their, your 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 information and they're making it theirs, that's a form of evil eye. Do know that you need to protect your babies. Those of you who are, who, who have newborns, there is there are different stones 
One of them, are, and I'll list it, is known as the black stone. Some of it's called hematite, um, sabachi stone, and so forth. You need to put those on your children to protect your children. The evil eye is real. It can come from the very people that walk in your house or that trust, that you trust, that are your in-laws, your family members, your friends. And sometimes they don't even know it. They can't help it. So you must pray for them. Okay, so let's begin. Here are the eyes that we use for Santa Lucia, St. Lucy, okay? Now you can have this, you can pin it on your clothes. Why do we use the evil eye? Why do we wear it? So that the evil eye will pick up the envy or the evil eyes that is upon you, okay? So that that energy, that's a talisman. The talismans do exist so that you are protected, now let's move along. When you're ready, you refresh this, you pray over it. Now, those of you who know and you're asking for the truth and you want the truth to be told to you, here is, now we're getting deeper into the video with all blessings. You are going to get consecrated stones. If you're not into, you don't have certain rights to consecrate your stones, you are going to get holy water, Florida water, what rose water, the waters that appeal to you, obsidian water. Listen very carefully again. Florida water, rose water, obsidian water. I have many people that watch my videos and then I get a million texts about what I'm saying. You get this water and these oils, even olive oil, and you consecrate the stones that look like eyes. My suggestion is what I have done and I have prepared is you see how this is, right? You see how this is. There are a pair of two eyes. When you put the eyelashes, so you'll put, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like to use seven and nine. Eight, nine. Looks like this. You will do the same thing, but you will put the odd number, not the same number in the eye. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ba Boom. You will take these eyes and you will put them to sit in the sun. Then you will also take these eyes and put them in a full moon. You can pass them through fire. You can pass them through sage. Now you will take these eyes and you will pray to Santa Lucia or St. Lucy. You will ask her, please lend me your eyes. You must have a pure heart when you're doing this. Remember, you're praying to a saint with good intentions. There are many people that do this and they're not physically prepared. Cleanse yourself with Florida water. How do we do that? So, for example, let me grab this here. You will take, you will rub and consecrate. You will pray now. You will also take and always also, you will cover your head. You will ask the saint to protect you. You pray to the light of God first, okay? Now, you may say Jehovah, you may say Allah, you, Yahweh, whoever is, there is a main God of all gods. Well, we'll get into that, okay? So now, as you're doing this prayer, you're going to ask Santa Lucia to lend you her eyes with good intentions, so, for example, if you want to see who your partner is with, if you feel that something is weird, or who your where your child is, God forbid your child is lost, where your sister is, and so forth, you will pray upon these eyes. Now, this bag, my godson, mi indio espiritual, and I will put his link in um, for, uh, what does he have? He has an Instagram, okay? So I will put his link so you can get these bags made. He makes beautiful mojo bags, all right? You can get them any size, different colors. He does different ones, even for Siete Potencia. You will put the eyes in here. You will consecrate the bag. You will sleep with these eyes. And you will focus on the prayer, which will be in the description box, to St. Lucy. She will show you what you need to know. Now, remember, we do not do readings or intrusion 
to others. I never, ever in my life do readings without someone's permission because number one, it can come out really distorted for you. Number two, please remember whether the person is good, bad, or indifferent, they have their own spirit guides and spirit doesn't like that nosiness or intrusion. So that's between you and them. You take this and you sleep with this under your pillow and you talk to St. Lucy and blessings to Santa Lucia. Let's continue on. Now, evil eyes and bad spirits can be picked up from anywhere. So say, for example, you're going to a cemetery and you need to visit a loved one. Well, here we know that we have different holes. You need to protect yourself. You can put cascaria, okay, Ephun. They also have Nigerian Ephun. You can take this and you can put it on your belly button with cotton. You need to close all the holes in your body because your body has portals and holes, especially those women who are open during the time of their period. So I have something to show you. Let me just grab it right here. Okay, sorry. I'm not feeling well today, but I'm managing to make this video. My goddaughter has made, you. here it is. Here's the information. Aspica. She has made vaginal washes. Now, let's be real. We have to talk about these things. Not only is this a spiritual wash and protection, but it's also a good cleansing agent. Okay, because when we go to cemeteries and so forth, we pick this up. Now, you can wash this as well in your private areas. We have to speak the truth because why? We pick up energies in our portals. Anything that's a portal, your eyes, your nose, your ears, those of you who are doing videos know how to protect yourself on video portals as well as places that are main points. Some say puntos, the courthouse, the cemetery, that's one of them, okay? Let's continue. This is made by my buddies, my, my beautiful sister, this is from All Things Blessed Be. You can take a wash with this for inner strength to replenish your body and so forth. I have so many, I'm so blessed and thankful to have so many spiritual friends. This hair is made by Queen Mother. You cleanse yourself with some incense. You can take it, light it, and then, you know, sage out yourself and cleanse your energy. Now let's go into some deeper factors here, okay? Now, here is... Here is what we need to do. When you have enemies of spiritualism, some of you who have the Alan Kardec, some say Alan Kardec book, in this book, you will read the enemies of spiritualism on page 50, okay? You need to say this prayer. If you notice you've been having nightmares and so forth, you need to say this prayer for at least a good seven to nine days, okay? As you're saying this, Always wish those who want to do you harm, wish them well, you know, don't, you know, you could, you have a right to defend yourself. You have a right to fight for yourself, but do know, do know that the rest of that vengeance belongs to the supreme beings. Okay. So here it is for those of you who want to write it down. All right. It's page 50 and it says, Father, you have taught us through, I like to say the name Yeshua. Yeshua, blessed are those who suffer prosecution for justice sake. Forgive our enemies. Pray for those who prosecute. As Jesus taught us the way of praying for his executors. With this example, Father, we ask for your mercy for those who have failed to learn your divine precepts and precepts that ensure peace in this world. This goes on and on. And then let me show you something else here. Okay, I'm sorry to keep picking. I have so many things on my table. I'm going to show you something that what we're going to do. When you, that, that prayer was said as an example, but it is a prayer for you to use for page 50. Now, when you do that, you're going to have a pen or a pencil that you use specifically for your magic, okay? It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but you're going to write your petition in your protection from the evil eye. You came from a party. You can simply write 
on a parchment or brown paper. Something as simple as protect me from evil. I break all curses. You fold it. You can either burn it and you clean yourself. Okay. There are different things that you can do in order to have yourself grow and be spiritually protected with peace and power. Now, in continuum of that, let's understand what you need to do in terms of working with your stones. You don't have to have just a whole bunch of eyes. Remember, you're born with two eyes. So in working with that and knowing that, you pick the stones that work best for you. Stones usually come from tombs that you trust. That's another form of divination. Or they can simply come from the grounds and you consecrate them in the name of the eyes of Santa Lucia. Let me tell you another way, because we're going to talk about breaking hexes. Say, for example, here are your eyes. Here are your eyes for Santa Lucia. You're going to clean yourself. Look at me. Clean, clean, clean. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse your space. But then focus mainly on your eyes to have psychic and pure vision. As you cleanse yourself, you have the choice. Okay? Here's a bottle of water. Here's a bowl of water. You have the choice of breaking them, which I suggest once you do this. So say, for example, a lot of you have asked me for long videos. So here it is. Draw a picture of the eyes. If you know you went to a party or somewhere, you know that people are stalking you. So for example, there are people who will sit there and watch a creator's channel and watch every video and study it and just become obsessive with watching it. And they, that's an evil eye, okay? So... As you're doing that, I'm going to pick up one more thing. You can have the secret and the power of the stone with you because stone walks with spirit. Or you can have it by itself, okay? As you're cleaning yourself, you're cleaning your eyes, you're cleansing, you're praying to St. Lucy, you're asking her to protect you, protect your spiritual energy. Remember, eyes are spiritual. So some of you that are watching this video have lost sight and blessings to you. That means you're even more spiritual when you do not have the physical sight, you have the spiritual sight. So as you're cleansing this, watch me and watch exactly what I do. I pray, I pray against my enemies. I pray against the injustice of the evil eye. I pray against maldicion. I pray to break all hexes and curses. Look. Compromiso. Woo! Now, you saw how that felt. Don't worry about it. If you know some of this fell, you look, you see how it is red. You take some Florida water or rose water, holy water, and you cleanse yourself. In moving right along from that, you can take lemon. You cut the lemon in half and you squeeze it and you say, I rebuke all negative energies, all curses, all hexes, all evil eyes that has been upon me. I rebuke it. Okay? You have the power within. That's why they call us lowercase gods and goddesses. Here is your hot peppers that also breaks the energy that was put on you from stalkers, weirdos, people that are just jealous and envious. There you are, look, okay? Now, as we're doing that, here you have some sea salt, okay? They always say a, tea, a teaspoon of sugar. No, it's a teaspoon of salt. The energies of the salt, the pepper, once you have that and you cleanse yourself, let me just show you, you cleanse yourself and you pray to the light of God. You pray to your ancestors. You pray. And as you're cleansing yourself, allow every iota of all evil, maldicion, bad energy, let it go into that water and focus on that and focus and focus and focus. Once you were doing that, so mote it be. You take the water and you flush it. Get rid of it. And do know that you are divinely protected in the name of our Father and our Son and our Holy Ghost. Do know that the power is within. For those of you who don't believe, 
you won't achieve. For those of you who believe, you will achieve. I love ya. I hope I say namaste. And thank you for watching Shadow of Wolves and blessings to all of you.